Hello from the National Weather Service Chicago. We'd like to take a couple minutes to talk about snowstorms and our watch warning advisory criteria. Currently, the National Weather Service Chicago issues snow advisories for 3 to 5 inches of snow and winter storm warnings for either 6 inches of snow in 12 hours or 8 inches of snow in 24 hours. Now, we do have some criteria or some leeway with the criteria, so we will sometimes lower the warning or advisory criteria for the first event of the season, for an event expected to hit hard at rush hour, sometimes for busy holiday travel, and, and for uh, multiple frozen precipitation types. For instance, if you have heavy snow and then freezing rain falling on top of that, or instances where you've got uh, really strong winds and significant blowing and drifting with lesser snowfall amounts. Unfortunately, not all six inches are created equal when it comes to warnings. So six inches of snow that falls over a long period of time lightly is much different than six inches of snow that pounds and hits hard at rush hour in three hours. So we want to try to uh, consider a adjustment to our warning and advisory criteria to take into consideration some of the impacts of the snowfall and how what kind of impacts it will likely have. Some of the factors we consider with issuing watches and warnings is the intensity of the snowfall, the rates, the pavement temperatures, time of day, blowing and drifting, how low the visibility gets, but certainly the biggest factor of uh, the impact of snowfall will often end up being the snowfall rates. So we're considering trying in impact-based snow headlines this year. So instead of locking in at 6 inches in 12 hours or 8 inches in 24 hours for a warning, we're considering using more of a sliding scale like you see here. Uh, you'll notice that in blue, that's, the, uh, that's an area where we can either issue an advisory or no advisory. It's kind of a borderline case. Yellow would be the areas when we forecast or when we are forecasting that we would issue an advisory. The area in orange is when we'd issue either an advisory or a warning depending on some of the other factors that go into it, such as forecaster confidence, time of day, whether it was a holiday. Areas in red we would issue warnings for, and areas in purple we call the name storms. That's just a joke. We're not really going to start naming storms. Don't worry. So taking a look at this as an example, uh, if we expected four and a half inches of snow to fall in 12 hours, we would issue an advisory for that event. Now take that same four and a half inches of snow and let it fall in three hours, and now that's an event where the forecaster will consider other, has the opportunity to either issue an advisory or a warning based on some of the other considerations like the time of day it's going to hit, how early in the season it is, and even forecaster confidence. How sure are we that this snow is going to fall at the intensity we say? So some of the issues we would expect with this is that, uh, you know, if you have multiple waves of snow hitting, uh, we also would... Uh, you have to consider that there's some users who are very knowledgeable of a specific criteria, and it would take some adjustment for them. Uh, the other thing internally that some of the verification would become a little bit trickier for us, but that's not a big deal for you guys. Some of the advantages to the impact-based warnings would be the attempt to kind of base headlines more on the expected impacts and less on a rigid criteria like we currently do now. The fuzz factor would allow for leeway for multiple considerations, including uh, collaborating with neighboring offices so that you know, if uh, Milwaukee's got a warning out, we've now got more leeway to issue a warning, even if we're not forecasting conditions to quite reach warning criteria. Uh, and we can also consider other things like pavement temperatures and uh, uh, the amount of blowing and drifting, the snow type. And those can all be considered in the more borderline cases. So before we move forward with this uh, project, we want to give you guys the opportunity to provide feedback. We would like to know what you think about this proposed change. Uh, do you have any questions about it? If you do, by all means, please email Jim and uh, let us know what your questions are. Or let us know if you think this is a good change or if you have any concerns or generally what your feelings are about this proposed change for the winter. We would like to uh, make a decision about whether or not we're going to experiment with this by early September. So if you could please provide your feedback in the next few weeks, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much from the National Weather Service Chicago.